It is a Tuesday evening and I'm here to give you all the stories that make noise on social media. Your favorite celebrities are always up to something. And as Cassandra Wellington on The Wrap tonight, we wrap up all of these trends with the it be gossip, truth, lies, false, he said, she said, they said. Is it actually the truth? We don't know. But is it entertaining? Yes, it is. And that's why I am here to give you The Wrap tonight, every single Tuesday and Monday night at 22.30 on Diamond TV. Coming up on the show today, Mutale Mwanza entered the chat and decided to destroy every single aspect of Lillian Mutambo's views when it comes to other people. And I think you will want to watch this through and through because she did cover so many areas, including faith, including Mili's own issues, and why Lillian has no loyalty towards her friends. And also still in the area of our relationship I think it's time we decided to show them that we are that big of a couple and even we are matching Chitenges. It is a lot happening in Lillian's life and it seems like everybody else is benefiting, including her ex-husband, Mr. Mulwanda. We get into all of those stories and so much more right here on The Wrap tonight. But before that, you can walk away with a power bank and data on Diamond TV. Everything is on us. You don't have to think or do anything, but all you need to do is get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel, send through that screenshot to our WhatsApp number, and just like that, you stand a chance to walk away with the power bank and 26 gigabytes of data from Samto. If you're unable to do that, you can still be on the lookout because we're everywhere you may be, come events, in the streets, per market, the normal light, it's all right, team is on ground to give you a chance to walk away with something special and brighten up your load shedding days. On the other side, we get into these stories, my other version and my Tuesday crush all on the wrap tonight. tonight right here on Diamond TV giving you all things social media now if you want to keep up with Diamond TV on social media and also share your thoughts on all these stories and so much more you can subscribe to our YouTube channel also follow us on Instagram on X and on Facebook as well as TikTok it's Diamond TV Zambia across the board there's so much for you to indulge in with a lot of content coming your way from the daily news brief snippets of your favorite shows and even full interviews on YouTube it's basically TV in your pocket and because your phone is working overtime with all the videos you're watching on Diamond TV we want to specialize your life we want to spice your life by giving you a power bank and data or on us by you involving yourself in the Normalite It's Alright campaign. We get started with our stories today and first up is Faith 991122334 Faith 911 Closet and Mr. Mulwanda. It seems like this particular couple is here to stay and honestly the fact that they're so public about it makes me feel like maybe, just maybe, this is a little bit of a stunt because I would never put it past Zambians to stuntify their life. Now Mr. Mr. Mulwanda is Millie's husband. They're still married. Allegedly, there was even a point that Millie was saying she's going to sue him for bigamy or whatever, but with Faith, it seems like they're not married. They're just having a good time together. Videos surfaced on social media. Let's take a look at one of those videos of Faith and Mulwanda having a good time in a parking lot. <laughs> Before that video went viral, um, photos first came through and it was giving Chilangamuela toilet. The relationship seems serious, honestly, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel sad for Miriam or Mili because 
how do you normalize a man leaving a household? But that's not for me to talk about, okay? That's for Mutale Monza to talk about. We'll get there sooner or later. So the pictures you're seeing are of Faith and Mr. Mulwanda matching in Chitenge and seemingly having a very good time being in love. Now, this is crazy. These guys started trending over a weekend ago when they made their debut appearance at the PR Girls Lusaka July launch and um, it's just it's just insane that it this is where we are now as a country that faith 911 closet 7666789 can even do a full on shoot expressing her love for Mr. Mulwanda it's all insane for me <laughs> it's all very insane and i think Mr. Mulwanda is really aiming for he, he's aiming for social media buzz for this. So he took to social media saying, it seems selfish and considerate and malicious. Um, human beings would rather see me being a junkie and hoping I die of an overdose one day than see me climb a mountain of obstacles which I have and will continue to do till I die. Because when God says yes, no one can say no. God doesn't sleep in your village. God is for us. But Mr. Bulwanda, you were treating Aunt Millie terribly. You were the one who she took to um, you know, the the Great North Road Academy Rehabilitation Center. But here you are uh, doing Cinderella poses like you're in a mansion, twirling around, dancing salsa with her friend. A friend that I believe you saw come to the house and now have decided to make it. At this point, is it a side chick? Is it a second wife? What what exactly are you thinking? What exactly are you doing? We're not hating on you. We're saying what you're doing is embarrassing and it's abnormal and you should wake up because you've made and made it go through so much. Though it was brought upon herself or so hard. But the amount of, I uh, know he got drunk this side. No, he's left. No, he's gone insane. No, he's been eating the children, Sarah, like he's been screaming. He had a cocaine, Shani. All of that, we don't want that for Millie. We don't want that for you either. But we're also saying stop dragging her on social media and making a mockery of somebody that you've decided to call your wife and have two beautiful kids with. And just like that, we transition into our next story. And this one is from Mutale Mwanza. I decided to let the queen do the talking because the video is so long. Here's what we could and can show you because a little bit of insulin was sprayed there and there. But I think Mutale has a valid point. Let's take a listen. You never had girl, you for one My question to you, Lily, is who are you loyal to? Because in a, when things are trending online, I, 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 I never say anything. And I will never comment on anything, especially my friends. There are people who I'm loyal to in my life. Anybody who is trending, you are there. Even if it costs you a friendship, you are there. Hey, the clothes that she makes, the designs that she makes, all the shit. You are there. 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 But you are there. 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 You are Ukese Muzambi. Ta ula sapu kapu. Kwaku. Ule pili kita tia. Her friends who you are loyal to. Who are your friends? Wana wenu wana niwe. Wana wenu wana niwe. Mine wana wana kwata. Ngo wana 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 wana. Nishi fiki maru wala ima fila fina. Evo baba. Mwana mkwe. Afuina mwana wana. You were pretending to be her friend. And then you're the first person to be celebrating and jumping. Aka chupo kwa wana 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 w I'm in this situation. You're the first person who could look at. When it comes to certain people who you consider close to your heart, Lillian, have some loyalty. You act quite even when we were Queen of England. Queen of England, Arifa. Now, Arifa, like Queen Elizabeth Munshi, she's standing in her grave. Lillian, she's tired of you. Talk about the Yakusta. We are tired. You must have an opinion on everyone. You. You must have an opinion. You. We have an opinion. You. You want to go to Kapoi, you want to go to South Africa, you want to go to Kapoi, 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 you want to go to you have made content about different people, including myself, for many years. And I've never responded to you. You've made content, which is good. You've made content about me, which is bad. And in both instances, I have never responded. Chimayo, why are you irritating? You're one person who likes to befriend celebrities, get to know them, pry on their weaknesses, and then later turn around, create a situation, start drama, start a fight, so that you can have an excuse to come onto the socials and discuss issues which were told to you in a private moment, issues which were told to you in a moment of weakness. You don't do that. That's what Mutele Mwanza had to say about the whole situation and I think she was right to put 
uh, Lillian Mutambo in her place, who up until now thought, well, we all thought was a friend to Mili, but it seems like her view and her idea is to get close to people, pry them for information, and shame them on social media. Mutel, once I even posted earlier on uh, saying that... Uh, Good morning. I've woken up a happy person knowing I just killed a career in the UK. Ella, I know she's scared of me. She can't even respond. I have finally restored the sanity in these streets. Air is even passing. Rest in peace, Lily. Have a good day. You'll remember to be kind to one another. I think this was a valid time for Mutale to come into the DMs because it was too much of Lily and Mutambo just spreading commotion and malice. And the funny part is how Mutale is perfect on that mimicking of Lillian I'd say, a known designer she makes dresses, she makes dresses <laughs> <laughs> she makes dresses Yenzina Vota, a fashion design from Telemwanza, now you can see and like who even told her that she's a journalist to be narrating stories like that I blocked her from my timeline personally, you will never see a Lillian Mutambo story on my timeline and that's why I didn't even include her in this because I think some people should just they should just, if they're in Oregon or if they're in whatever, they should enjoy the Oregon and leave us alone. But do you know who's not being left alone again? Chile Shewalia. Now, Chile Shewalia posted a picture with an ankle bracelet. Now, a lot of people went into the comments questioning why a gospel artist would have an ankle bracelet and a nose ring in 2024. Do you people know Chileshe is a testimony? No, they don't. Do these people know that uh, God doesn't look at the outside, he looks at the inside? I don't know if they know. But does Chileshe well, also know that we're a Christian nation? That women are not supposed to do that? Well, all of this was shared on social media, and for me it was funny because there's so much that the country is going through that we should be voicing ourselves over. There's so much we can lend a voice to. Just a couple of weeks ago, aflatoxin made such a huge noise People would have died if that continued to be an underground thing. I mean, dogs died. We don't know if all the millimeter was burnt, but we want to lend our voices to criticism and exactly what the Bible says about an ankle bracelet and a nose piercing. This is a person who, if you've not followed her, by the way, a person who almost lost her life. She decided to get into the right way and share the good news through gospel. And that's why her songs are so personal because everything she went through, she testifies to her music. God is in the details is what she says. And she's so open about sharing that part of her life. You know, I don't think Chilesha would put an ankle bracelet to signify that, you know, she's a prostitute or whatever that means, or decide to do a nose piercing. And I also don't think that really, really matters because it's 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 like a battle scar like this is where I'm from and I also get it on the other side I mean we're not perfect people but we must be perfecting and also the fact that you're a musician people listen to you our kids look at you they believe in you you need to uphold a certain level of morality but that's not for her to do you know she's doing her own job and that's why Pompey shared this particular post saying the tendencies of the traits of a 21st century Pharisee you see people who will be Pentecostal or will be modern Christians but are actually Pharisees inside in their hearts they are Pharisees and she shared it what does a modern day Pharisee looks like Pharisees are considered to be the greatest enemies to Christ and to the message of salvation their commitment to the law become a stumbling block rather than a pathway to God and she shared it but Chile Shewali also went ahead to say in a world where so much evil is happening souls are perishing and people are physically dying take a moment to pray for a stranger if you have time to score and comment on a post you can spare a moment to say a prayer for someone on the street pray for struggling business pray for leaders pray for something or something to actually make a difference you know thank you for the short and sweet studio session to Deborah Mambo was her post and she was right I mean the negativity in the comment section or the shares people are like is it right to have a nose piercing as a Christian huh? Is it right to be a liar as a Christian? Is it right to have a chigoro as a Christian? All those things that you're doing in the private. You want to talk about your friend's little thing, but you have a log lodged into your eye. Anyway, I end it here. This is our trends for today. Catch me on the other side with my other version and my crush.
Welcome back to The Wrap Tonight, still with me, your host, Kasende Wellington. My other version today is addressing the people that are complaining about Chichi Daisy. Yes, you. I've seen you. I've seen your comments. I've seen your thoughts. I want to tell you that she's going to come back. But change and diversity, they're the flavors of life. So if you like me, you don't like me. It's okay, but in the meantime, bear with me. What am I not doing right? That's why we have the comment section, not just to bash people, but to say, hey, do this, this, and this. I mean, she's more good looking to look at than me, but be kind, I beg. Some of your comments, it's personal. It seems like you've met me before and you just, those people said, I naturally don't like him. What have I done to you? We're a Christian nation. Take time, do this. You do this to your chest, you come down because the negativity I will not take it my crush for today is not a person it's a trend and the trend is Pwaku by Chanda Nake I know they feature someone on this song but I love the videos I love the videos and me describing it does not give enough so let's take a look at the video because that is my crush for today <laughs> And just like that, on that funny Kopala note, we end the show. Thank you so much for watching The Wrap Tonight with me, your host, Kasane Wellington. Catch me again, maybe, okay? Maybe you'll catch me again, but keep it locked to Diamond TV.